Hey guys, I'm Shubro and welcome back to my channel. On my channel, I have already made two videos on Premiere Pro editing software. Uh, the first one was on the topic on how to highlight any objects or text in your video. And the second one was on how to reverse any footage in uh, Premiere Pro. The main thing which I left was how to render your videos for example if you have created any video you can say you have edited any video on a premiere pro then a, of course we have to convert it into a video file uh, which we call as rendering or exporting a video so in this tutorial i will show you how to render or export your video files using premiere Predict software without any further delay let's get started By the way, a huge shout out to my Instagram. Um, on my Instagram, I uh, post daily, and to also a shout out to my Facebook uh, page, uh, and also a shout out to my Twitter account. So, if you wanna follow me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, then the links are given in the description. You can follow me there. And uh, so let's go to our computer screen and let's see how to render or export video using Premiere Pro. Okay, so to render videos in Premiere Pro is pretty simple. Uh, for example, if you uh, don't want to render the whole video and you want just uh, to render a part of your video, then what you do is uh, take your marker to the position from where you want to uh, start rendering a video. For example, from this point, I want my video to get rendered, so I'll keep my marker here or you can see the play hit and I will click on this option this is known as a marking option or you can just press the I button on your keyboard just like this then take the display hit to the last point of which you want to render your video I want this part and then click on this option this is a mark out option you can also press the O button on your keyboard and this part is being selected and the uh, other part would not be rendered when you will render the video. I will I'll not choose this one. I will render the whole video. So if you want to render the whole video, nothing to choose there. Uh, you can just uh, export the whole video very easily. Or else if you want to choose it, then click on the marking and then mark out to render some part of the video if you want. And uh, in both the cases, the process is same. So what you have to do is go to File, then go to Export, and click on Media. You can also render your videos in Premiere Pro using the Allow Media Encoder software. Uh, but here I am not using this. I have that software, but I am not going to use it because uh, both these have the same options. So you could just easily export your video using Premiere Pro only. So when click on this option, this kind of a export setting window open. So here you get one option match sequence settings. So uh, this will match the settings of the sequence. Um, I will suggest you to not check this option because if you have uh, done any mistake while creating a sequence then uh, your final rendered file would not be good. So I will uh, suggest you to do not check this uh, match sequence settings option. Then we get this format option. So here when you click, there are a lot and lot of options like AVI, AVI uncompressed and uh, there is MPEG4 with time uh, there are many actually so most of you will uh, export this in mpeg4 i know which is uh, commonly known as mp4 most of the people will also uh, uh, render their videos in avi format but uh, avi uncompressed or avi format as well i will not suggest you to do this if you are um, rendering your video in mpeg4 or avi uncompressed then your video file would be too large like a 10 minute video file will be of 30 gb or more than that and if you are rendering your video to avi format then your video quality will decrease um, so here 
if I tell you the best option is H.264 is the best format to uh, render your video preset um, there are many presets like 4k settings uh, this is my custom preset actually and uh, there are 4k presets 1080p HD presets there are many piece presets actually but uh, I also used to keep it match source high bit rate it's the best one I'll say and next you get the comments just leave it and then you get the out output name by clicking on this option your file explorer window will open and from here you can um, select where you want to save your file and with which name and then you can just click on the save option next here you get the summary you can see all the summary of your final rendered file and here you get the export video and export audio options I will uh, suggest you check this option so that your both of your video and audio gets exported and uh, here under video you get some options like width and height so here my width and height are 10, 290 to 1080 pixels I will suggest you keep it as these and here you get the frame rate if you want to change this then just click on this option and then you can easily change all this like if I, if I want to change the frame rate or the FPS of my video then I'll just uncheck this and then you can easily change this to any frame rate or anything and then always don't for, don't ever forget to do this render at maximum depth is the main thing in which your uh, video quality depends upon so of course check this one then under here you get the performance option so if you are getting this option I don't have this option because I don't have any kind of a GPU in my system so if you are getting this option then please set it to hardware encoding and not software encoding keep it to hardware encoding is the best from here keep this all as it is and then we get the bitrate settings now in the bitrate settings I will uh, suggest you to keep in VBR one pass there are many CBR, VBR 2 pass, but I will uh, suggest you to keep this in VBR 1 pass. It's the best one. From here, you get the target bitrate. Uh, by default, this is 10, and I haven't faced any problem till now in um, 10 target bitrate. If you are facing problem, then you can just change this like this or this. I can just click it and uh, using a keyboard also you can change this. There is a maximum bit bitrate. Um, by default, it's 12. I will suggest you to keep all these settings as it is uh, the default is the best but uh, if you want to change it then you can change it but I will not suggest you to do that and that's it here uh, in the audio uh, keep all the settings as it is the, it's the best and don't forget to check this one use maximum render quality on this option as well your video quality depends upon and uh, that is it then just you have to click on the export option and your premiere pro will automatically export your video or you can say render your video and that's it how we render videos in premiere pro editing software so that's it i hope you like this video if you did then hit that like button and to also share this video if you uh, are liking my content then uh, please consider subscribing to this channel uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video till then goodbye